Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about web driver manager, how to use, how to install our web driver manager and also how to work using this cross browser testing for this particular browser web driver. Okay. See, in my previous video, I explained like how to create our Selenium first test case and how to open a browser and how to get the title of that, right? And after that, we can able to go ahead here. And for this, there are two couple of ways we can able to do it. But before that, we need to install our, our web driver manager. Okay. For this, we have to go to a Google search with web a driver manager selenium python once you click you will see that there is a pypi.org okay click this one here you will see there is a pip install web driver manager okay copy this one okay once you copy a uh, why this web driver is required first of all we are going to installing this one and we are going to use for cross browser test what exactly it will work see there are things like now today you are uh, in the, my previous video i showed that there is a version compatibility correct the 106 is my latest browser but uh, the stable version of the chrome driver ie uh, exe that is 107 right now my browser is not updated in sort of time some days after that particular exe it is not available means 106 browser is not available what will happen in that moment i need to there is a case i need to update my chrome driver then i need to use for stable version then in this moment i don't want to i don't want to update my chrome driver but i want to use for my old version only then how we can able to use means we can able to use by using web driver manager that is the latest version of selenium we have okay that selenium browser it will help you to do some automation okay without doing any chrome browser exe and all it will install it own into that program uh, running moment and it will work out okay and how we can able to miss then open for first search cmd we copied for that pip install a web browser manager you can able to click it in my system it will show you for the requirement is already satisfied because i have already a web driver once you completed this one and go to your files in a pycharm go to a settings inside the settings are the project and the project if you extract then you can able to see the python interpreter there you can able to click for plus symbol I here search for the driver iPhone manager. This is web driver iPhone manager. Okay, this is the version. You have to click for install the package. It will give you some, uh, it will take some moment and then it will give you some update installation successful then click here and click ok here once you've done this one and you need to go to again the browser places in this it will by default supports some chrome driver and edge communication ie driver right now the microsoft is stopped okay if you download ie driver also it will not work it will not uh, it will not do for some communication with your IE because it is completely a down IE completely down to overcome that edge is the one Microsoft one it is working okay if you see there are provide some examples here 
if you are using this chrome driver locations and using all it will it will uh, like clumsy and all and also browser updates and everything need to do for this we need to use for installation of a web driver then we can able to use this from web driver manager dot chrome once you install into your thing then you need to click here click first the python file for this and web a test web driver okay okay from selenium import web driver then you can able to use from web driver manager now you can able to see right web driver manager dot chrome import chrome web driver manager okay then whenever you import this one it's like your program like uh, installation web driver is perfectly into your system okay then this is the code we need to use to open this is basically who are working with the selenium 3 okay who are working with the selenium 4 that people need to add another step this is so called of here selenium web driver chrome service this is the one you have to use use it if you are using for selenium 3 then this is the first one like without service you can able to use it if you are using selenium 4 then you need to use for this service also okay now i have my system is like a selenium 4 that's why i'm going to use for services then i'm going to use for this particular line for that okay for now we am going to use for browser a name i'm going to declare here chrome okay now i'm going to use for if condition browser equal equal and double quotation chrome sorry Oh, colon sanitize. Then I need to paste it my code here. Okay. Why we are writing this like this means you need to go to understand for Python syntax. For this, I already completed for my Python basic concepts. Go through there and you can able to understand for this basic syntax here. Okay. Then else if again browser name equal to equal to i'm going to use for edge colon then again for edge related even you can able to see some firefox presented here and ie is presented but ie is outdated then we can able to use for this edge related I'm going to copying these two lines of the code here and then I'm going to copying this particular line okay now my code is completed here and I'm going to use for else condition and I'm going to print something no browser name present something i'm going to print like this okay after opening my browser i want to use my driver dot a get url that is like https colon double slash www dot google dot com then i need to get for driver title then I need to print for that one, right? First, I will do the print a driver a dot a title. Okay, then I'm going to close for my browser. For this, a driver 
start close okay now up to here cross browser testing is completed okay then yeah i passed for chrome driver now it will install the driver then it will open the your chrome driver if you are using any now even see in the chrome driver we saw without that right now here the location you already see that chrome driver are copied but ie it is not presented so in this location i have only chrome driver you will not see for ie driver right there is a two files only it is presented there is no ie now edge i am going to provide here means i don't have a driver but i can able to open for my edge driver and i can able to navigate this google chrome and i will get for the title and i will close the browser okay this is my test case now i am going to use for my test case name here web driver see now once maximizing this one you can able to see here it will take some couple of time because it need to install that uh, it need to download which uh, latest version is presented for the driver of the chrome or uh, ie then it will download and it will install into your programming location and then it will open the browser it will communicate doing the operation then it will close it okay and after closing the browser it will delete all the temporary files downloaded file everything and it will close and back to means uninstall and it will go back means the program file location you will not find for program installed ie okay now the even you can able to see there is google a render fallback taken is shown it is a bug if you see the report steps it is it's like a temporary files something information okay no need to bother about this one and it will basically it will download for dev tools listener place this is the location and dev tools browsers and edge related file id okay it will download and it will do for that okay this is all about for cross browser testing which we can able to use for web driver manager to do some operations on a browsers okay that's all about this video i hope you understand this one if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues and also comment on this video thank you